I'm meteorologist Thomas Patrick. We have a chance to see the northern lights tonight, the evening of March 30th and the morning of March 31st. And that's because last night we saw a coronal mass ejection from the sun. It occurred at about midnight Pacific time early this morning. And the image here, the last couple frames, you can almost see the mass, the actual matter in the atmosphere from the sun shoot forward. And it was aimed towards the Earth. So because of that, well, that's going to interact with the magnetic field of the Earth and give us a chance to see the Aurora. The forecast for tonight means that obviously most of the northern tier of the US have a chance to see it, barring you're not stuck in the cloud cover like in the northeast or the Midwest, but portions of the Dakotas, Montana, as well as the interior Northwest in Washington have the best chance to see those northern lights tonight between sunset pretty much all night long, but the best chance really before midnight or 3 a.m. And really, we were looking at some of the data here and the sun had a lot of active sunspots and it was this particular cluster that actually ejected its mass. It's called a coronal mass ejection, the corona being the sun's atmosphere that's only visible during a solar eclipse. So because that was aimed towards the Earth, it is heading our way. It takes about 15 hours. So from about midnight last night, we will see it that intersect the Earth, which is the uh, computer modeling that you see here at around 5 p.m. Pacific time, meaning that the strength of the Aurora Borealis is likely going to be strongest in those early evening hours. We measure that by what's called the KP index, and when it's above a five, we generally think that we have a moderate chance to see these northern lights of the Aurora Borealis in the first place. All the times you see here listed in Pacific time, and that KP index as strong as seven on the computer models between about five to eight o'clock. Of course, that's still sunset for a lot of uh, areas across the northern US. So the best chance I'm thinking is going to be between sunset and the midnight or 3 a.m. hours tonight.